Hello, hello everyone, and welcome back. Today, we're talking about my stepmom's daughter is my ex. And this one is quite fun so far in the last two episodes. And also, I did not record it the day that I watched the second episode. I actually forgot to do so, and so I'm recording it now because of that. Yeah. Anyway, this one is about a certain boy and girl who met in middle school, became lovers, flirted, disagreed on things, and then got irritated and broke up, right? And after they graduated, they, uh, the parents got interested in each other, got married, and then they all sat down and got introduced to each other, and they realized, oh, we used to date. And so, Mizuto Idori, the guy, and Yume uh, Aya, Ayai, they are now step-siblings. The, uh, yeah, that, that's how this is going. So, yeah. And it's very obvious that they still kind of have feelings for each other. Uh, and they, it, it's, it's one of those, like, we're keeping our relationship secret from our parents so they don't get worried. But also, it's one of those, like, we're kind of still into each other kind of things. And it really comes to a head in, like, various plot points that occur. Uh, there's this one point where they're arguing whether who, uh, who, who is the elder brother or elder sister, because they were both born on the same day. And so the uh, girl, Yume, she's like, well, I talked to my mother, and she said I was born at this time, and you were born at this time. So I am older than you. So I am the older sister. And he's like, mm, yeah, he, he, I forget what he does exactly. He he's, does some, like, negotiating. And they decided to make a game out of it where whoever uh, is like, whoever acts like they're not siblings first, they get to be the older or younger one, right? So uh, if, if they make a reference to their past history together, that's a violation of that sibling rule that they have. And so whoever violates that rule becomes the younger sibling and has to call the other one the older sibling, right? So like, yeah, it, it, it's, it's hilarious and funny. And so, they have, you know, encounters in, like, the bathroom and going to school together and interacting at school. Just all this kind of stuff that's going on. And they're all trying to, like, act like they've never been in a relationship together. Because if they do act like they've been in a relationship, then they have to switch roles and become, you know, the older brother, younger sister kind of thing. It, it's a nice, like layer on top of the comedy and romance that's already going on. I mean, it's not just that these two like are still like in love with each other and definitely want to bone down and all that. And they're trying to do that while being step siblings. But it's also it's like they're playing a game of cat and mouse to see who can cause the other one to slip up and admit that they used to date or act like they're interested in each other sexually um, as opposite sexes right and the one who does fail in doing that they become the younger uh, sibling which is just a nice like hilarious thing to do because they act so like passive to each other <laughs> it's very hilarious it's very nice and uh so so good so so good i've enjoyed it thoroughly so far even if like all the main characters just look like pretty generic characters. Like you got the the black or brown haired kid with like the, the brown eyes and the, the blacker brown haired girl with brown eyes. And their friend is a slightly lighter brown haired colored hair girl with like a ponytail. And there's a uh, guy with brown hairs and brown eyes as well. And, and that's basically the main cast that I've met so far. They're all very generic that don't have like any real 
like style or anything to them. Uh, the one girl wears a bow in her ponytail. And that's about the extent of like personal accessorization that's happened. Personally, I think she was cuter. Yume, the, the Yume girl, because they show her in like middle school and she had her uh, hair done up in like those uh, pigtails that they put like over their shoulders. So like the hair from the pigtails is in front. And I think that hairstyle is cuter than like the just full down hairstyle she has right now. So I don't know. I'm just trying to say that the characters lack a little bit of uh, individuality and uniqueness. It uh, really feels like they are just normal high school people, you know? And no, that's a bad thing. It's definitely, like, fun to watch. The story's good, and I enjoy it. Their reactions are very, very priceless and great. Uh, it's just that if I ever see these guys in, like, a year or two after the show finishes airing, I'm not going to know who they are. I'm going to be like, they look familiar, but I don't know what they're from. And that's one thing that kind of, like, doesn't animate dirty, you know? If you don't have a character that's really unique and, like, you can be like, oh, yeah, that's that character from that show. Uh, but if you have generic male character A and generic female character A, and then there's supporting characters, generic male A and generic female A, um, you aren't really going to get that like, oh, yeah, they're from that show, right? And there's plenty of shows that I've seen that have done stuff like this where it's like, oh, is this that guy from that show? And it's like, oh, no, he's from this show. And it's like, oh, but the, like the guys look exactly similar, and uh, it's just kind of hard to pinpoint people down. You know what I'm saying? But uh, yeah, I'm kind of rambling on that. But it's been really cute so far. I've really thoroughly enjoyed uh, the the antics that they get up to, and uh, how they interact together. It's very cute, and all that. So uh, yeah, let me know what y'all think. It's going to be a great series. A nice little cute romance. Um, I hope there's not a bunch of drama that comes up later in it, because that would just be ruining my mood. It doesn't appear to have drama in the tag genres, so I'm hoping for some goodness there. Anyway, that'll be all for this one, everyone. Uh, next, I don't remember what comes after, uh, since the animes have only gone on for two weeks. Uh, but we only have four more to talk about. And then that'll be all for the season. Uh, for first impressions, anyway. I will, of course, do the usual. Did I drop any? Or uh, the final reviews, you know. And so far, I think there's only... Uh, maybe... Okay, so there's six that I might drop, which is, like, half of the whole season so far. Uh, because I could potentially drop the uh, Gucci Gire show, Lucifer and the Biscuit Hammer, if it doesn't get good. Um, there's Engage Kiss, which is kind of weird. I'm kind of still on the fence about. Luminous Witches, Prima Doll, and then also Vermeil and Gold, since it's just kind of like a weird show to me. But all the ones I would consider dropping, everything else has been just stellar and perfect. Uh, but yeah, I'm still at the point where I would drop those shows, but if they, like, kind of peter out or lose my attention, then I probably will. So that's all for now. Thank you all for listening, and until next time, I will catch you all later. So bye-bye.